Hello everyone, welcome back. I am Carly with another Monster High video and today we are going to have double the fun with a double creature feature with both Heath Burns and Abby Bominable. With the exception of this little blue cart, everything you see comes in the set. You of course have the two dolls, Heath Burns and Abby Bominable, along with a whole bunch of kitchen gadgets, a home ick project diary, and a hairbrush that's black that matches the two stands that come with it. You have a female stand for Abby, which is the traditional one with the small clasp in the back. And you also have one for male dolls, which has a wider clasp in the back. Let's go ahead and take a look at the home ick diary before proceeding any further. So this is what it looks like. It's a lot different than the normal composition notebook ones. It has a whole bunch of cookware on the back with all of these creepy confections. And this thing is actually really nifty because it's stylized. The pages that are taped in there with all these burn marks probably don't belong to Abby and all the ones with the snowflakes probably don't belong to Heath. So I'll give you uh, two guesses to who they belong to. But this basically chronicles their uh, adventure together in Home Ick, because Heath was accidentally signed up for it and was partnered with Abby and kind of got the, me the wrong message from her saying that she wanted him to be there. And it just turned into this whole shenanigan mess. But they ended up having it work out in the end, as you can see here in the little TLDR section for the Home Ick notes. And they are making the Baked Himalaya, which is a treat that Abby loves from her home country. Here are all of the creepy kitchen wares that you get. And like always, the detail on these is impeccable. I really have to applaud Monster High for this. So you have a mixing spoon that is pink with a bone handle. And you also have a black whisk with a bone handle as well but it has these creepy little bony fingers as the actual whisk itself. And then over here, we have a measuring cup filled with some kind of creepy green ooze, and there's even measuring lines on here. I told you guys, the attention to detail in this is amazing. And there's also a textured handle, which I guess is supposed to kind of be like spider webs. Next up, we have this container that has a green spiderweb lid and an eyeball as the lid pole. And of course, there has to be a ton of Monster High Skelettes on at least one thing in a set. And these are along the side. After that, we have this um, delightful bowl of whatever this is. It's some kind of gross, icky yellow ooze with white bits in it. And a set of black bowl that has a purple spider web on it. And then the piece de resistance is the baked Himalaya. This has a spider web design on it, along with a spider. And on one side, it's blue, probably because Abby had to save the day and freeze the thing. And the other side is scorched red hot, no thanks to Heath. And this poor little spider is completely red, so it looks like he got caught in the crossfire. Hair and makeup for this terrible twosome is pretty simple considering that one half of the duo isn't really wearing much. So let's start out with Heath. He has a big old rubber noggin. There are no hair plugs in here. It's just rubber molding that is painted to look like flames. He isn't really wearing any makeup, but his lips are a slightly darker yellow than the rest of his skin. He does have these fiery eyes, and one of his eyebrows is a little more jaunty than the other one. And I'm going to assume that this little scar right here is probably from some fire-related accident, knowing Heath. Moving on to Abby, her hair is in a high ponytail with all of her pink streaks up at the front and her blue ones over at the back. She does have her purple streaks here in her sideswept bangs. As for makeup, it doesn't look much different than normal. She's got her deep plum brows with the deep plum shade on the lid and the lower lash line with a little bit of purple in the crease and a shimmery highlight. And of course, her lips are a cool pink color. Now let's go ahead and move on to their accessories. 
This is again a pretty simple one with half of the duo having pretty much nothing. Heath actually should have a little oven mitt, but unfortunately mine didn't come with one, which is a super bummer. But it's just a little red oven mitt that has kind of a spiderweb design on it that is on one of his hands. It should be on this one, I think. Abby is keeping it pretty simple with her accessories. She has only earrings on and a bracelet. Her earrings are some clearish pink measuring spoon with some measuring goop coming out. And the earring on the other side looks like some kind of frozen liquid in a glass. And she has a little bangle, which is kind of see-through and pink, but this is an open one. So I would definitely recommend keeping on the little clear elastic here. So let's go ahead and take a look at what they are wearing now. Let's start out with Heath. I'm going to take him off of his stand just so you can get a better look at how massive these man stands are. But this is Heath's outfit. Up here he has his Letterman jacket and it has the flames on the sleeves. This thing is kind of held in place by these little plastic tie things, but I decided to snip mine because you can tell that the garment actually sits a lot better without them. It just looks kind of weird and unnatural on this side. Underneath he has a heathered gray t-shirt with this kind of flamey smoky design. He also has a little apron on for his class and his pants are just regular old blue jeans with a little bit of yellow stitching. And I sincerely hope that after wearing these he's able to sympathize with girls a lot more who have to deal with these fake pockets all the time. Oh my god, they're so annoying. Moving on from there, let's take a look at his shoes. These guys just look like a whole bunch... These guys just look like a regular pair of slip-on sneaks, and they do have flames all up on the top. And how cool are the articulating angles? That is so nifty. There's nothing really important to see on the bottom, but there it is for you. All right, so that is Heath. Let's go ahead and move on to Abby put him down over here so he doesn't fall over. Abby is wearing a t-shirt dress with a whole bunch of black fur around the neck and on the arm cuffs. It also has a little black bow on it. The design on it looks like some pale blue and pale purple beads with a whole bunch of these little snow twinklies everywhere. She has on a ruffly blue apron which corresponds with her powers. And underneath that, it looks like there is this purple peplum that is made out of some kind of netted material with jagged edges and a whole bunch of these iridescent sparklies, which kind of matches her skin, actually. And as for shoes, she has these ankle booties that look almost like western boots, but they're purple, and they're see-through, and they have icicles for their heels, and there's a whole bunch of these icicles around the top, too. Uh, the texture here with the lighter blue things kind of reminds me of what happens if you send like a really furry dog outside in the snow. It just kind of gives all these clumps of snow. So I think that's what they are. I'm not quite sure, but those are the shoes. And let's go ahead and take a look at both of their freaky flaws before signing off. There's not really anything all that unusual about Heath apart from, you know, the yellow skin and the fact that there are flames coming out of his scalp. But Abby, on the other hand, has her blue skin with the shiny, shiny glitter on it, her little under tusks, and her clawed fingers. Let's get a better shot of that. Those things are just so cool. I love the ghouls that have these. It just looks so fantastic. And there you have it. That is the Double the Recipe Home Ick Heath Burns and Abby Abominable set from Monster High. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Now you can watch another one of my Monster High videos or one of my other friends' videos. Our pictures are always in the corner like these four examples.